Hi, Julie Grasso here from Double or Nothing Reads. My business partner, Jim Sullivan, and I are often asked about read making instruction. So we created this video to help guide you through the important process of wrapping the read. Poor wrapping can often lead to the demise of the read no matter how beautifully it's been scraped. So let's get this important task of wrapping the read down pat. In this video, we'll show details and up close images of how to wrap an oboe read. Along the way, we'll share tips and tricks we have found to be helpful. Of course, there are many ways to go about wrapping a read, so this video teaches our way and is not intended to take the place of what your teacher asks of you. We hope you'll follow along with us. You can pause and rewind as much as needed until you feel confident with each step. To prepare, you'll need shaped cane that is soaked about 15 minutes, a metric ruler, a high intensity light, thread, beeswax, your mandrel, and a razor blade or knife to cut the thread. Also, a tip that saves time and reduces mistakes is to mark 72 millimeters or whatever your wrap length will be on your ruler. Tie your thread to a hook or something that will secure it. I generally tie three knots so it doesn't slip. Then wax about an arm's length worth of thread up and down three times. Just rewind the thread back on the spool when you're finished. Place your high intensity light so it shines down with the focus on exactly where you will be wrapping. It's important to use your mandrel while you're wrapping for several reasons. The first is to ensure the staple retains its proper shape through the wrapping process. When you pull tight, you don't want the metal on the staple to move. It is also important that the staple fits the mandrel properly. It should sit flush with the end of the mandrel. We love Kiaruji staples for their consistency, but also because there is a specific mandrel for each staple size. Before we begin wrapping, let's be sure of how and what to measure. We are using a 47 millimeter staple and will wrap in an overall length of 72 millimeters. As I mentioned earlier, I like to have my ruler marked at 72 millimeters. It makes a quick job of measuring and avoids errors. The measurement of 72 millimeters is from the bottom of the cork on your staple to the top of the cane. Specifically, I measure to the area of the cane next to the ruler where it is folded. To find the exact right spot, you'll need to adjust the cane up and down the staple. Once you've found the correct measurement, hold the cane in your left hand and place between your thumb and index finger. I like to hold my thumbnail just below the top end of the staple. You will hold the spool of thread in your right hand and set the soon to be read on top of the thread about three to four inches from where it's tied. You'll wrap away from your body with two winds. This should be starting right where your thumbnail is. Once you do your two winds, pull it tight and keep the pressure with the thread. Now you'll inspect both sides to ensure it's closed. If the cane is closing on both sides, you will then cross over the first two winds. At this point, Keep the thread tight and check the reed for straightness. You'll look down the butt of the mandrel and straighten as needed. Now we're going to set the overlap. The overlap is when the bottom blade of the cane sticks out very slightly to the left. Again, looking down the butt of the mandrel, the tip of your reed needs to be at a slight angle from the flat side of your mandrel. Think of it like the hands on a clock. If the flat of the mandrel represents 15 minutes before the hour and 15 minutes after the hour, it is straight across. Keeping the mandrel straight across, the tip of the cane should be slightly cocked so that it is at 14 minutes before and 16 minutes after the hour if you were looking at a clock. Woo, now the hard parts are finished. Simply continue winding until you are about three winds from the cork. Keeping the reed in your left hand, continue to keep the pressure on the thread from the hook to the reed. 
you can let go of the spool in your right hand and allow some slack in the thread. You're now ready to make your knots. I use three simple slip knots. Be sure to put the tip of the reed through the loop. Guide the thread down near the cork, then pull tight. Repeat this two more times. Now you can cut the thread off and you have a wrapped reed. Yay! We hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at contact at dnreads.com. Also, we'd love to have you join us at Southern Oboe Intensive this summer. We'll have master classes, chamber music, and tons of reed making. We accept students of varying ability and age levels, including adults. Check it out at www.southerneboeintensive.com. Hope to see you there.